No, we left 160, 762. Atisha Ve'esri, we're in 762, next to the bottom paragraph. Chosel Vavos. Atisha Ve'esri, something we have to think about. She's boning Yisro Nafsho Al Gufo. He says the superiority, superiority of one's soul over his body. V'yaki Yisro Ktsas B'nei Odom Al Ktsosom, people are more superior than others, more capable than others. You have one person's capability. He's, he's the equivalent of a thousand other people. In terms of a person's his intellect, what he's able to accomplish in moments, it takes teams to work on for months to come up with a solution. And this one person is able to come up with it in, in just a short period of time. So there's superiority among men, people, in, in the physical sense. One's ability has nothing to do with his physicality, but it has to do with the exaltness of his spirituality. Shmuel said to him, you're the equivalent of 10,000 of us. We say Moshe Rabbeinu was Shokol Kenegi Yisrael. Moshe Rabbeinu was the equivalent of 600,000 people. What does that mean? I mean, his dimension of being was he, what, it's, well, not about his physicality, his physicality. We say, You save one Jewish life, it's like you save the whole world. What? So if you have seven and a half billion people in the world, saving one Jew is the equivalent of saving, is, 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 is it, it would be equivalent. In the innateness of the Jew, he's the equivalent of the whole world. We're not talking about the, the physical productivity, but the value. He says, Afan, even women where, who is superior in terms of her physical beauty, and the foshos. You have a woman's physically beauty, beautiful, but her innate qualities as a, as a person, as a human being, her character, characters, her characteristics that she has, she's lacking. So her beauty is no longer pleasant. And it, it denigrates the beauty. The beauty becomes ugly. It's something which is repulsive. A person's really a bad, corrupted person, regardless of how beautiful she is. You don't want to have any association. If you put a gold ring in the snout of a pig, it's the equivalent of a beautiful woman who's lacking in appeal. I mean, because she's so corrupted in her innate qualities. But my sheker achein hevel ayofi. False is charm, vain is beauty. It means without the other attributes. But if a woman has the attributes, that only enhances the beauty. The beauty is an enhancement of, of the quality. But if it's only the beauty without everything else, it's something which is repulsive and becomes ugly. Based on the recognition of the superiority of your spirituality over your physicality. You have to, it is appropriate to take the initiative to perfect it and to save it for its master. Hamashkiv al Zakusa Bakadruso to oversee its purity and its kajus, its, what does he say? Darkness. Zach, zakus, its clarity, its purity, and its kajusa. The shivcho gnusa, its praiseworthiness and its blameworthiness. Bechirosa batov bara, 
to have the choice to do good or evil unatosa im sichlo im is it more inclined to follow the intellect or its desire that's something we have to take into account so the more a person recognizes the value of a spirituality you'll make this your decision process becomes a different 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 decision process the question is what what is what are your priorities are they material priorities are they spiritual priorities if you recognize that the soul is 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 the primary part of the person then the basis for the decisions are, are spiritual but if you understand that the 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 primary part of your life is your physicality so what the issues are always based upon what on, on the on the material decisions I'll tell you this is so crucial to today's day and age I mean unless a person studies a person learns certain things who thinks about their spirituality I won't do the wrong thing even a person who observes Shabbos won't violate the Shabbos but what is the perspective of life what's the thrust of a person's life where, where is he headed what is ambition what is the ambition of most people 99.9% .9 people what is the where are you going when you say make something of yourself in what sense how does that interpret itself in the material and even after you succeed in the material then what advance yourself be more effective be more special so more special you said you should be more kind be more generous okay it touches upon that but that's not it's not that's not an ambition it's a quality it's not something you people what do you strive for the screen but what striving is the more a person understands what his innate value is that's exactly what you're going to strive for to be where most people strive to be Napoleon I'm not, I don't think they're striving for that. It's not striving. Yeah. Even person learns. The only person really becomes special learning is you strive for certain ideals within spirituality. Just because you're learning, learning doesn't mean I mean you're doing a mitzvah. But there's a difference whether you strive or you're just learning. What's the end result? I want to be a Tamil Chacham. Okay, therefore. And what, what, what does that mean? There's no it's not sufficiently defined and if you don't define it okay so you're doing more of the same not the motion no it's not that's I'm not detracting from from the learning from the mitzvah it's, it's a whole it's a whole perspective do you do you associate learning with quality of person becoming a more spiritual person or you just want to be a Talmud Chochem Right? You want to be a Talmud Chacham, which of course is, is very important to have a broader knowledge in Torah. But what does that mean? You're more special, but why are you more special? People don't think about a lot of other things. And if you think about the other things, your whole decision process, you don't get caught up inside issues. To be continued.